Here we go. Good morning, everyone. My name is Shoshana Gross. I'm the Director of Events and Programming with the Ohio Restaurant Association. And today, my guest on our Daily Dose is Patty Helper. Hi, Patty. Hi, Shoshana. Uh, Patty, of course, is the Executive Director of um, the Ohio Restaurant Association Education Foundation. And so today, we thought we would take some time to just talk a little bit about what the Education Foundation does, what its initiatives are, kind of what's going on right now. Um, and um, so, yeah, let's take it away, Patty. Why don't you get started? Well, first of all, the Ed Foundation is probably the best kept secret of the ORA, and we've been around since 2000. So we haven't been around as long as, as the ORA, but we have been uh, doing some good work in the last couple of decades. Uh, and it was initially started, believe it or not, by uh, industry and educational representatives, and it was to foster workforce development. And um, they started the Ed Foundation hoping to launch the ProStart program. It took a little while, but they did launch it and we had a handful of programs. And then we had our Invitational, which is our premier um, competition for our high school students. And that started a few years later. And um, in case people don't know what ProStart is, it's a national training program for high school students interested in the culinary arts and restaurant management as a career choice. And our Invitational is such a huge event. And for the last two years, we've had a virtual competition. And I'm so excited in 2022, which will be our 20th annual competition, we will be in student, in person, live competition. So we're hoping that industry and all of our other stakeholders will rally around us and have a big celebration because we're excited to be back. Absolutely. It's going to be great to see. The students have so much energy when they're competing. I really enjoy um, the invitationals that I've had the chance to attend. So I'm really excited to see them back in action. Yeah, videos are good, but it's so much better to see them in, in person. So we're you know, excited about that. And besides the Pro Start program, the Ed Foundation has always focused on workforce development. And even if all of our students were working in our industry, we still, there's a lot of positions to fill. So the Ed Foundation has always uh, taken the workforce development as its initiative that we need to work on and uh, to vote time and energy to help increase how many people we have coming into our industry. Because there's jobs going, you see the signs for, for uh, hiring, there's all these jobs going unfulfilled and they offer really rewarding careers. So we have worked with Justice Restored. We've worked with differently abled populations as well as at risk individuals over the last few years. And we're very excited that we've partnered with so many different groups. And we have our first restaurant ready class graduating in the next week. And for those who don't know what restaurant ready is, it's a national training program that teaches basic skills um, to those who want a career in our industry, but it's a jump start to independence. So it's a very important role that they're playing here in, in giving them a chance. And I have to do a, a little thank you because it is our first restaurant ready uh, program to Aspire, Ohio University, it's the Gladys W and David H. Patton College of Education, as well as Tom Stevenson, because without them, we would not have been able to launch our first program. So we're very, very excited about that. Employers in the Athens, Ohio area should be excited because that's where the program was. We have 15 candidates and uh, they will um, be able to work in uh, that area and they have great employability skills. They go over communications, teamwork, dependability. They have the skills necessary to go to the job and make an impact right from the beginning. So we're very, very excited about that. Excellent. Um, if people are interested in learning more about Restaurant Ready, is there anywhere that they can go to find out about that or about how to hire some of the um, people who have left or who are graduating from the program? Well, all, one part of um, the program is that they already have to have a job when they start. So all of these candidates have already been um, Put with an employer. However, if there are community partners out there or others that are interested in, we would also like to do our second restaurant ready program. So if they are interested, if they just want to contact the Ed Foundation, we would greatly appreciate that because we would like to keep this program going. Excellent. Um, 
Are there any other programs that you wanted to discuss today? Oh, you know, I always want to discuss the Ohio Employee Restaurant Relief Fund. Um, unfortunately, it took a pandemic for us to launch this, but we are so very, very grateful that we have been able to help 1,400 individuals and 2,000 of their dependents at a time when they desperately needed it the most. So the Relief Fund provides grants to restaurant, food service, and hospitality uh, employees uh, that have had their income significantly impacted due to the pandemic. And we launched it in April of 2020. Um, it is still ongoing, although soon we are going to transition it into a permanent fund to help our industry and their employees regardless of what might come along. Hopefully we're not like California, so it's not floods and earthquakes, but you never know what will happen. There will be sometimes that something that will happen that our industry will need our help and their employees, and we will have the funding to do so. We just had two recent fundraisers that I would like to mention. Columbus Taco Week just wrapped up last week. So thank you to all those that participated in that. And then tonight we have an event with the um, Ohio Meeting Planners International, the Ohio chapter. So we wanted to thank them as well for their contributions and everyone that has contributed to our fund because it's thousands of in individuals, it's community partners, as well as corporations. And without their funding, this would not have been possible. And we are so very grateful for them. But remember, the Ed Foundation's not done. We always look for partners to uh, start new programs and initiatives. So if, if there's something out there that you would like to contact us about, please do, because we always want to start a new program. Excellent. And I'm really happy to hear that the Relief Fund will be an ongoing uh, program that the Education Foundation is going to be hosting or, you know, managing over time. I think it's really important that we're able to support the industry regardless of, you know, what the crisis might be. We are, yes, and we just want people to know that we are very grateful to their support and we will continue doing our initiatives here and stay tuned because you never know what the Ed Foundation might be up to. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Um, there is one more thing coming up, right? In August, we have a great fundraiser, um, uh, the, the golf outings. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? We are very excited this year. We picked a new location, a new course. It's Westfield Country Club. So we have not been there before. We're very excited about that. Um, they are looking forward to welcoming us. It's in August, so it's a little different for us. We're usually in September, so we're hoping the weather will be great. It is a fundraiser for the entire Ohio Restaurant Association Ed Ed Education Foundation, which includes ProStart, Workforce Development, as well as the Relief Fund. Fantastic. Foursomes and sponsorships available. <laughs> so much going on, Patty. As always, you're doing such great work, and it's always great to talk to you and hear about what's happening at the Education Foundation. Well, we just thank all of our uh, uh, partners and stakeholders, because without them, the Ed Foundation would not be able to do what we do. So thank you. And thank you, Shoshana. Great. Thank you for talking to me today, and we'll talk soon. Take care. Bye.